If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Locust series. In this season 1 episode 3, we are going to see about HTTP user class in Locust. In last video, we have covered about user. If you have not seen it, just visit the previous video to understand the user class. In HTTP user class, we will create a HTTP user to attack the system. So whenever you use this HTTP user class, a new user will be spinned up and then it will inject into the application under test. Whenever you create this HTTP user class, it creates a client. Basically, it's an instance of HTTP session class and you will get all the HTTP methods such as get, post, delete, patch, head and also you can interact with your headers, uh, response, status code, etc. In this simple snippet, we are importing the HTTP user module task and constant from the locust package and we are creating a new class called my load test. We are deriving the HTTP user and in the host we are mentioning about the application under test and then we are creating a new task called launch which will basically launch the example.com. In HTTP user class you will get a variable called abstract and also you will get an attribute called client. So this client which is nothing but an instance of the HTTP session class and then it will help you to interact with your web application by creating cookies, cache and you can interact with your HTTP methods, headers and other details. So now let us see a quick demo how you can leverage the HTTP user class to run a simple test against the API. To demonstrate the HTTP user class, we are going to leverage recrest.in sample API. So here if you see, if you scroll down, you will get a lot of methods. Basically, you can make use of this particular API calls for your testing purpose. I do not do any kind of load testing, I just run it for only one thread. Here we are making use of get call first, so get list users. And then we will see uh, how we can send the uh, post, so which will create a user. Create user gives a response uh, 201 and uh, get users will always throw the response 200. And both the API will give you the uh, JSON response, which we are going to see how you can uh, read the values in the Locust HTTP user class. Now let me go back to PyCharm and let us create a new Python file called rec res.py and here let us uh, import the uh, modules from the locust package http user comma constant and task and we are going to create a new class say uh, my rec res and we are going to derive the http user class and inside we are going to define the host which is nothing but our https colon slash slash rec res dot in and we are going to give some breathe time using the uh, wait time variable using the constant of uh, one second and to define the first task we are going to make use of the task decorator and we are going to say uh, get underscore users and self is the keyword to send a http uh, request for the get method we are going to leverage self dot client so this will uh, create an instance using the http session class and then you can make use of all the uh, methods so if you press dot it will automatically list out the methods available so get is uh, one method and we have post similarly we have other http methods and in this case we are going with the uh, get and we are going to hit the uh, api slash users so this is the api call we are going to make so if you go back to uh, request uh, response in website here you can see uh, api uh, slash users so we can just uh, copy this uh, question mark page equals to two also so here uh, just enter question mark uh, page uh, equals uh, two so this will uh, send this uh, request and it will read the response and similarly we are going to define another uh, task decorator in this case we are going with uh, creating a user and here we are going to use a post method to capture the post call we are going to 
uh, launch the uh, developer tools in the browser and just click on network and click on the uh, post api so here you can see the post method request has been sent and the response is uh, 201 created and if you go to your request you can see the request payload and also the uh, the path so here the path is uh, api slash users so just copy this and paste it in your uh, pycharm and make sure you have the uh, slash here and we are going to send the uh, payload using the data keyword and i'm going to uh, enter the string uh, literal and inside the uh, triple quotes i'm going to copy this and paste my value so here we are sending the post call to the request response dot in so now we are uh, good with our uh, locust file and let us uh, save this and run before that uh, let us uh, format so now we are good so to start our test locust hyphen f request uh, response dot uh, pi and hit enter so this will uh, launch your flask application so let me go to my browser and localhost 8089 and hit enter this will uh, launch the uh, locust ui so i'm going with one user and one uh, user per second and click on uh, start swarming so here you could see uh, the post call and after a few seconds uh, again uh, you will get the uh, get call and we are not seeing any errors and if you go back to your uh, pycharm uh, here also you can see the uh, the status basically we are not seeing any error if you go back to your locust you can see the uh, request response uh, charts so this is my uh, request per second and response time for each call and number of users and failures none exceptions none uh, download data you can download the data and at the top you can see the rps and uh, failures is uh, zero percentage now uh, let me hit stop and go back to my uh, pycharm so here we are not making sure whether we are getting the actual response or not so to that we have to uh, store the value which we are receiving into a variable and we can print it out so for that uh, let me stop this and i'm going to define a variable say response equals and i'm going to print the uh, response dot text so this will print the response the actual response for this call and let us print the uh, status code and let us uh, print the headers so like this similarly you can make use of the uh, post call also response equals and let me copy this and paste it here so now let us start the run again and go to uh, locust and click on uh, new test and uh, enter one one and click on start swarming now if you go back to your pycharm you can see it is printing the uh, status text uh, and the header information so this is how you will read the response code or response text or the header information uh, whatever you could uh, you want to read you can just uh, print it and uh, you can validate it so this is how the http user works and one important thing is uh, make sure you are sending the host information in your python uh, code otherwise uh, you can send it in the command line so let me delete this uh, host and here you can enter uh, host equals https uh, request response dot in so this also a valid uh, run because this host will be uh, sent to the uh, ui so now if you go back to your locust and hit uh, refresh and it will get automatically filled here so now if you click on start swarming uh, it will uh, just uh, work fine as before but it is always a good practice uh, to send it in the python code but if you are working in a ci cd then you can send it in your command line so it de really depends on your uh, need and how you want to send the host name okay that's a guess on my side if you have any questions please let me know thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel